Hey everyone, Bassman Strikes here. So I'm gonna do a little kayak gear review here. This is the V4 kayak cart. So it's very similar to a wilderness cart in design. So if we look here, the side rails are attached with two thumb bolts and it's welded on all the way around. So both sides are like that. It uses the same foam for the bunks as the wilderness cart. The wheels are the same size, they're 12 inch. It uses a 7 8 axle and it has hitch pins so you can take the wheels off. So it's very similar to the wilderness cart. One thing the wilderness cart does not have is a kickstand. This kickstand works really well. So let's take a look here. So it actually just swipes off to the side, just like that. Works really well. The other thing is it gets a little wider than the Wilderness Cart. And that comes into play with a bigger kayak like the Slayer Max. It also sits higher than the Wilderness Cart, which is also handy when you're loading onto a truck bed. Now for the Slayer Max, the mod I did, I added two ABS bunks. And I also used four maker pipe one inch T fittings to make crossbars. And these crossbars are one inch aluminum pipe from Menards. And then there's just holes drilled. You can see then there's a fender washer and it's just bolted on. And what this does, it allows this cart to work with the Slayer Max. Now on the Slayer Max, it doesn't have scupper channels like normal kayaks do, right? On a normal kayak, you have two scupper channels, and these outer bunks fit in those channels, and it locks the cart in. The Slayer Max doesn't have that. It has more of a tunnel hull like this. So these bunks lock it in into the tunnel hull and that gives it the stability so the kayak won't slide off the cart. So I'll load it up here in a second so you can see how it works with the Slayer Max. Back in a second. All right, everyone, so I'm back. So as you can see here, the Slayer Max does not have scupper channels. It's flat and smooth. So you can see the, the Vivor cart is wide enough where the outer bunks rest on the strongest part, which is where the scuppers are. You can see, and then the two ABS bunks fit perfectly in the tunnel hall. And it locks it in and allows it to be self-centering. All right, so here's the side view. See, it fits on the hull pretty nice. It's nice and high, lets you load on the truck real easy. And because it sits in the tunnel hall like it does, you can slide it, position it right under the seat. Can't beat it. So there's another view of it. Now one really nice thing about the cart, because it's perfectly balanced, is you can just push it just like this, anywhere you want to go. It makes it really easy maneuvering it around. When I had landing gear, right, the landing gear usually mounts here and you can either have the wheels go back this way or this way, but if you have them go this way, it's actually reversed so it's a pain in the butt. You have to take this side over when you store them. It's just terrible. And having the, the wheels back here, it gives a very bad center of balance. I, I hauled this kayak fully loaded just a couple hundred feet and it was so nose heavy with the battery and the trolling motor and, and all the gear. I had to use shoulder straps to get it to the launch point. As you can see here that's not an issue with the cart. Works great. Thanks for watching Bassman Strikes Kayak Fishing. If you like this video, please click the subscribe 
and like buttons. If you'd like to be notified of new content, click the bell button. If you have any questions about lures, equipment, etc., please leave a comment. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook page and join our group Black Bass Central. Links will be in the description. We'll see you next time.